Today, uh, the 30-day the the results of 500 patients from the RESPOND trial were presented by Professor Volkmar Falk here at the London Vals meeting in Berlin. The results um, were quite similar to the results that were presented earlier at EuroPCR on the 250 patient population. Excellent outcome with very low mortality of 2% in a cohort of patients with a uh, mean age of 80 years old and an STS score above 6. So this is quite a very strong uh, mortality result. As for PVL, there was only one patient in 500 who presented with moderate uh, paravalvular leakage and only 4% with mild PVL. And these data were echo core lab adjudicated, so very strong results there in the RESPOND trial. So the French size um, uh, can definitely be improved and there is also um, there are some no there is some novelty on the way there. Um, Boston Scientific is developing uh, an expanding valve that would allow to downsize the uh, the design and uh, so vessels of 5.5 millimeters become uh, accessible for the Lotus technology which would mean that the uh, Lotus would be uh, similar to the other uh, competitors. I think we gotta get used to the concept of mechanical expansion and once you're used to the new concept it's no longer complex so it's a matter of getting used to it to a new, new sort of technology. To be quite honest, I think that it's a very competitive world and I think that um, the, the major companies have um, very competitive products. So I don't say, I would not like to say that there's just one uh, relevant competitor. I think that the competition is broader than just one. So it's hard for me to say that there is just one. There is currently a randomized trial ongoing in both the United States and Europe. Mm -hmm. It's called the Reprise 3 trial, where patients are one-to-one -one randomized to either Core Valve or Evolute R or the Lotus uh, Valve. The trial is ongoing and uh, the, the ambition is to complete enrollment by the end of this year. To wrap up the results from uh, the RESPOND trial, so far we have uh, over 500 patients enrolled at this meeting at London Vals. Uh, data on 500 patients were presented. They, the results are as good as they were in the first 250 patients, but we have new insights in certain potential limitations to the technology. For instance, the pacemaker, there is still a high pacemaker rate, but we do see a decline in the number of new pacemakers. So we are looking into the mechanisms and it seems that we are uh, becoming successful in reducing the rate by adjusting the depth of implantation, by adjusting the sizing and maybe also by looking at the pacemaker implantation indications. The Reprise 2 um, and 2 Extend data were presented by Professor Meredith, the one-year outcome. This was uh, a novelty. The, the registry, it's a safety and efficacy study and what was clear from the one-year results is that the excellent results at 30 days are sustained up to one year. The mortality at uh, 30 days was 4%, at one year it's 11.6%. And we're talking about a patient population of 84 years old with an STS score above 6%. So this is really at the low side of what you will find in other registries. So it's very, very uh, strong results. As for um, PVL, there was no, was no, P, no moderate or severe paravalvular leakage, even up to the one-year follow-up point. So also, again, very powerful. There were a couple of more pacemakers, so the overall pacemaker rate at one year was uh, 31%, which is um, something that we seem to uh, find with the Lotus implantation so far.